Welcome to Post Capitalism, a game by Celestia on itch.io. So, unfortunately, not reality, and also on itch.io. I know, memes, haha, funny. Might not even be a meme anymore, but I don't know if you remember, like, oh yeah, on itch.io, yeah, that's kind of like a meme. You know, I don't know. At least I think it was. Sometimes I say I'm secretly a boomer because I'm, like, hella behind. Um, the times, but also I'm secretly a five-year-old because computer games. Anyways, let us begin. I have played the game before um, a bit ago. Um, I tried to record it, but I just I, it was laggy, and I, I fixed my computer up a bit, so hopefully it'll not be as laggy. So sure, we'll view the tutorial. This is a capitalist city. Ask us to produce a better society out of the world as it exists. To begin, right-click on any object to get more information. So here we go. People waste hours every day traveling to and from their jobs. To transform any part of the city, left-click repeatedly on it. The alert is only partial change is possible within capitalism. There you go. Uh, at first I thought it was like, oh, you social democrats, and then I was like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> only partial change is possible within capitalism. Like, okay, yay. <laughs> there. I don't know, I mean, like, like, I understand that people are like, you know, revolution only, but like, at the same time, uh, reforms can short-term produce much better um, lives for people in the short-term, which just don't focus on it, you know? Especially in America, <laughs> it can be really hard to uh, use your right to vote um, in some states, so if it's really difficult for you to be able to vote, don't even bother. <laughs> Do go go do some writing, some protesting, and some picketing. Don't even bother. It's gonna take forever, and then your vote's probably gonna get gerrymandered anyways. But if it's fairly easy for you, like me, a blonde, fairly rich white boy, <laughs> then uh, then yeah, go ahead. It doesn't take that much out of your day. If, you know, you don't have to fight in order to get back on the voter rolls and to be seen as a human person and not a slave. <laughs> anyways. So, they would change this, because, uh, Zoom made us all go from home, so now we're using public transport. Oh, but now transforming one element, the smokestacks over here, to solar panels, made that go back to its capitalist form. To reveal the connection between these objects, hold down right click, and there you go. Those nodes, which are all hierarchical, look at that, are elements of capitalism. They can be transformed and connected like any other part of the city. With these techniques, you can now radically transform the city. So, ecological harm is externalized. Ecological harm is prevented. Now, there are four cornerstones capitalism, one in each corner. Our goal is to click on all of those. We have to find those and click on all of those. Then we win the game. Well, then we have to click back on the city in order for it to actually be a good city. But, that's another thing. Guys, unemployment. Even if supporters agree that capitalism requires unemployment. Yeah. Hell, even Adam Smith was like, landlords are fucking stupid. Get rid of them. <laughs> uh, what's this? Health and well being. Work is a leading cause of both men physical and mental illness. Are these two connected? No. But now it's automated. I mean, cool, but th that's only cool if, like, work isn't necessary in order for you to survive. Like, automation is cool in a socialist society. In a capital society, automation is horrible because then it takes jobs away from the people and then they starve. But, alright. Precarity, the uncertainties of production are offloaded onto workers. Yeah, like, on okay, honestly, for, for those guys that are, well, yeah, it's mostly guys. For those guys that are, like, I'm logical, and they're, you know, supporting capitalism and all that. Tell them how automation is going to fucking, like, it, it, it basically, automation is cool under socialism because then it doesn't take pe away people's jobs. Under capitalism, it does. And then it at least get them thinking, you know, I've, I've done that. 
I didn't really fully convert them, but they, I got them to start to stop arguing with me at least. <laughs> I think they are starting to have a bit of an identity crisis, so maybe, you know, but we'll see. That's a very good, uh, that's a good, good term for it. Jeez, gotta, yeah. See, so yeah, time outside of work is spent recovering and preparing for it. <laughs> what are you? Precarity. Uncertainty's production are all loaded onto workers. When are these two gonna... No. Are these two? Oh, maybe... There you go. For many, there is not enough work. guaranteed the right to work. Uh, if you're in the U.S., you know that right to work is a dog whistle for anti-union stuff. Hell, not even a dog whistle anymore. It's more like a bark. <laughs> hmm. What are you? Workplace discipline. Efficiency is maximized through surveillance and management of work. Many jobs only exist to maintain capitalist relations of production. Indeed. Management, marketing, money, men, limited. Peace. Okay. Well, no, what are you? Social reproduction. Capitalism rise in unplayed work. Oh, yeah, so. I mean, especially in America, you don't get. Um, leave for having a child being pregnant. You're not guaranteed it, at least. Companies are allowed to provide it as an incentive um, to work there. People are taught to behave with manager behavior in the interest of capital. Well, you know, no. Yeah, fine. Um, I don't know. You, maybe, wait, are you two connected? No? Okay. So hold on, you're not paid to, uh, go to work, and you're not paid to raise your child, so, yeah. I have played this before, um, if I can't remember to it yet. Unpaid labor is fundamental to capitalism. All right, and then you can connect these two. True costs of capitalism are excluded from calculation. Yep. Land street is a commodity. This is, this is a disciplinary architecture designed to ensure that public spaces are only used for private ends. I think that's basically a fancy way of saying homeless people are not allowed to use the benches to sleep. <laughs> Need. 
damn right. All who would learn from all who would teach. <laughs> nice homage there. Ooh, these two are connected. Unpaid leap. Oh, right, right. Okay. Huh. But then there's something more. Maybe there's something over here. Let's... Many there's too much work. Yeah. Labor's exchange is a commodity. That is certainly a problemo. Um, okay, right. I think we already got that one. Oh no, it's lagging like last time. Oh no. Okay, um, I guess we gotta hurry through. <laughs> um, labor is not sold. Oh, okay, these two are connected here. Time is managed in the name of efficiency. Productivity of wage labor is all that is value. Value is determined democratically. Yeah, damn right it is. Sleep in, have a party. Why are you sleeping in at a party? Oh wait, that's what I do. Never mind, I understand. Cornerstones. All right. You might have noticed like this little news bar has changed now. It said thriving culture. It used to say stuff like imperialist wars. And now this is like you know now it's global solidarity. All right. Before I finish fully getting rid of capitalism from this little cubic society, let's go over the four points. Labor is given from each according to their ability. Collective ownership of the means of production. Production is directed to satisfying human need. Value is determined democratically. And there you go! I just got tricked into reading theory. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, that's like a kind of a meme, isn't it? Have you read theory? <laughs> but, yeah. There you go. Um, we did it. Yay. That actually looks nice. <laughs> I mean, you know, you got you got little you know, stairs here. You got a nice office space with only a couple people in it, actually. No, <laughs> I'm not crying. There's pollen. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully. This is our future. Space travel, especially the space travel part. Like, oh my god, we could be, we could do all sorts of stuff in space. Like, okay, if we weren't spending so much on wars, we could be sending so much more into space. Like, we could, we could have satellites around every single planetoid. Basically, a planetoid is an astral body that is round. <laughs> so not, so not Phobos of Deimos, you know, Mars's moons, but Mars and our moon various moons of Jupiter, except for the really small ones. Basically, medium-sized things in space. We could have satellites around everything. You know, we could have people on Mars. We could have a permanent base on the moon. We have the technology. We just don't have the will. Or the, well, yeah. Money is basically, you know what, yeah. Money is basically a physical representation of will. Of resources, at least. 
thought about that. Yeah. Well, anyways. Thank you so very much for watching. Until next time. Space travel and solidarity forever. In space!